Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silverop and Tetha Ala. The two worlds were now reborn as one. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Alan civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martell that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Scorching hot deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Ama and the Church of Martell, they called themselves the Silveranti Liberation Front, the Vanguard. This way! Hurry! Yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Paul Macosta have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martell and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death. Mom! Emil, run! Get away from here! Help me. Help me, Redatosk.
Are you all right? Are you... the one who saved me? That's Tenebrae's howl. I have to go. Wait! What's your name? see your face. I... I'm not going to last much longer. But you... you have to live. You have to run before Lloyd comes back. Go to Lewin, to your Aunt Flora. Hurry. I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> 